friends in YouTube land, I'm going to do a brief introduction to this video. This is my old iLugger bag that I got about eight or nine years ago for a 24 inch iMac. And so I've been carrying a 27 inch 5K iMac in this baby. And I mean, just jam packed in there. You can see one will absolutely fit in there, but it just, it is just, you have to just cram it in there. So I just bought the 27 inch version that has wheels on it. I've been having to lug this one around on my shoulder. It has a shoulder strap. I want to say this has been a really great bag. I'm going to keep it for my old 24 inch. And if I have to, I have a, a, an, an extra then, but this has just been too hard to deal with. You can see you've got your pockets here, but let me show you my brand new one. Let's take a peek. Okay, as you can see, it comes in a box that is much bigger than the old uh, iLugger bag. So we're going to open this up. Oh, it does come from Georgia, by the way, uh, Cornelia, Georgia. And so I found out that there, there's a company that makes these. They're actually American-made, and they come from Georgia. If you're in North Carolina and you order a, a, an iLugger bag, you'll have it in about a day and a half, two days. It's amazing. Very cool. And so here's how it looks in comparison to the other one. You can see it's a good bit taller. And the reason I had to had to get another one, it's not just because it was tight, but because the uh, zipper blew out on this old one. And it's because I was just having to cram it all in there. It was just too darn tight. But so here is the new one. I'm gonna turn it around. And you see that this one, these new ones have wheels on them, whereas the old ones did not. You had to carry them on your shoulder. So I'll still probably very often carry this one on my shoulder with a shoulder strap. I will say this, the bag itself is probably two or three pounds heavier than the old bag because of that wheel mechanism, but the wheel mechanism looks pretty cool. It's going to be neat to be able to drag that around rather than having to uh, always carry it. That's going to be very cool. So there's what it looks like fully extended. Okay, so this next little part, I'm going to take the, uh, old, the old Mac out. Here's my, I like to use, I know I have the wireless one, but I like to have the uh, Mac keyboard that has this on it. So this is actually from my old 24 inch iMac. I like this and I like knowing I don't have to put batteries in, just USB powered. So I use this a lot. That's old school, I know. There's my cord that's been in here for forever. Uh, the mouse. I always uh, bring some extra headphones. These are some little uh, JVC that you can get at Walmart for about 20 bucks and they sound just great. They fold up real nice and neat. So I keep those in my Mac bag always so I don't you know, aggravate my coworkers when I'm doing video editing or anything. Of course, I keep several hard drives. I've got a Western Digital and I've got one of my little uh, other hard drives in here. That's everything that's in this bag. So we might, might as well go ahead and take this old Mac out. So here's what I've been having to go through. And since it's so tight, I have to just grab this and hold on and pull and then pull some more. <laughs> Finally, it slides out of there like a baby coming out of the womb. And right there you go. There's the iMac 25 or 27 inch. 5k now let's put it in its new home here first of all i think i'm going to uh extend this a little bit and do this first might as well go all the way because i know i'm going to be carrying it on my shoulder soon there's how it's going to look on my shoulder looks really nice I always when i carry these i carry it like that and i put my arm through that just to be safe you know just to make sure if the, if the strap ever fails on the shoulder I still got that around my arm like that. Here we go. Quite excited to have a new bag that's proper for this awesome iMac. Feels nice and roomy, well padded. Same sort of construction as the old, as the old one. And maybe even nicer inside. So let's just drop that baby in there and see what it's like. It's upside down. Just go in like that. Oh, it's so much nicer. And there we go. Is that properly in there? It looks like it is. Maybe I should have gone the other direction. Oh, it looks like it fits really good. So that fits over the uh, the stand. Everything's in there really nice. Let's try this. See how much how roomy, much roomier we are here. Fits perfectly. Here's the mouse again. Hoist it down the same hole as that. Put my hard drives in. Yeah. Yeah. I generally just let the uh, let those just kind of hang here. Of course, it does. Does it have extra pockets on anywhere? Huh. Maybe. What is this? Oh, so there is a pocket here in the front where if you want to put stuff, I guess papers and things in there, you've got a pocket with a very substantial amount of Velcro on it. I'm probably not going to use that a whole lot. 
It looks like it's the only other pocket on it that I see. Is there is something in front we could put papers and things down in? I'm very seldom going to do that. I put that right here. I put these right here. Way more room. Let's, put, let's try zipping it up and make sure it fits really good. Looks like it will. And there we go. Fold this up. And that is a much nicer fit than what I've been dealing with. I guess I can go ahead and take these off. Put it here and we'll talk about it for a minute. So I'll share with you here what it says on the little piece of paper, iMac bag, and it shows a, like a blimp on it. I don't know why that's one of their uh, logos, but the blimp is one of their logos. It says, think different, take it with you, iLegger, iLegger.com. It's about the only place, you know, there's, there's a company in England that I think makes a better version of this than the iLegger, but you have to pay like 50 or 60 bucks of duty tax or something to get it in, you know. I wish they made them in America, so if they're watching this, you think about it. But it shows here that, looks like it shows here a different way of putting it in. I just picked mine up and put it upside down. But it looks like here the way they show it is you put the eye lugger actually over the top of the Mac before you do it. And then you turn it upside down, but I just grab it and do it myself. I do it maybe just a stupid way or something. But there you go, it fits 24 and 27 inch iMacs it says, and it does. It's definitely much more uh, easy to put the iMac in this one than the old one I had. I will keep that old one. They just wear really well. I mean, it's made of good quality material. This one, excellent. Let me show you what it looks like on the shoulder. So probably I'm gonna be wearing it like that. I just definitely don't want those wheels up against my pants or anything as I'm walking. How does it feel? It doesn't feel, it's, it's a little bit heavier, but it's you know naturally because of the wheel uh, function there. I'm gonna walk around with it a little bit. and uh, So for this portion of my video, I'm gonna have a critic. This pug loves to fuss at me as I do things. So I'm gonna do it right here in the little hallway section leading out to our uh, outside room here. So let's see, that. so it stands, as you can see, hopefully you can see, I'll show you. It stands up on its own because of the wheels. The other one did not do that. You couldn't just leave it sitting like they had to prop it up against a wall. So that's one cool thing I do like about this. Uh, right away. Let's show you how it works with the wheels. I'll put it down just a little bit more. And so here we go. Just pushing on a little thing on the handle like you would with any case almost. And roll it. Hey, hey, that's right. That's just a critic. Be quiet. <laughs> Very nice. Very smooth. It is excellent. Been needing that for a long time. What do you think, Nico? You think it's cool? Does it make your tail wag? <laughs> awesome. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.